I was just about to do a video on the expanded world mod for Keeper RL, which adds a pretty nice undead faction to the game, but it hasn't been made compatible with the latest update yet. So instead, I'm going to cover the new zombie faction that the game has in celebration of Halloween. With this faction, the only units you have are zombies, and they're capable of digging and building things for you. You can only recruit zombies at night, and if your zombies are out during the daytime, they're going to burn up in the sun. Although this faction is fun, it's also pretty simple. All you have is zombies, and they're incapable of building more advanced structures like crafting stations to churn out weapons and armor. So you always get this message up at the top of the screen saying, your minions have no weapons, and you don't really have any way to fix this. It's basically a far simpler Keeper RL experience, and it's fun as a one-off thing to conquer the world with using a gigantic horde of zombies, which is the point of the faction. I would personally like to see it fleshed out more, and maybe that will come in the future. I'm not sure what plans the developer has for this faction. To score the minion mechanics of this faction alone, and not Keeper RL itself, I'm going to give it a 7.4 out of 10. You can have fun with this, but I don't think you'll be having fun for very long due to its simplicity. I'd really like to see far more minion diversity, as well as crafting stations and other advanced buildings. Even if the zombie faction was to continue only featuring zombies and not other types of undead, it would be nice to have different kinds of zombies. There's a lot you can do with the humble zombie, as discussed in my zombie podcast. Thanks for watching. If you're wondering what Keeper RL Zombies faction is like, now you know. Keeper RL is a really nice game though. I'd recommend you check out my older video on it, which covers the game's standard faction, which allows the recruitment of all kinds of monster and demon units, as well as the undead ones. The mods though are where you're going to find the best necromancy options for the game, and this is really where the fun is to be had as a necromancer. I've got more videos on necromancy games, mods, books, and all kinds of other stuff coming soon. If you like my channel and you want to support it financially, you can become a patron for one buck a month, or if you're really generous, five bucks a month. I do my best to reward my patrons generosity with some exclusive videos, as well as some other behind the scenes stuff. Five buck patrons will also be able to vote on and request future podcast topics. You can also buy a piece of Chebgona's clothing if you want to. It's very exclusive right now because currently the only Chebgona's merchandise in existence on planet Earth are the samples that I ordered for myself. I like them very much, but I am biased.